माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर सोगो तो बातो पीडियाट्रिक गैस्ट्रो एंट्रोलॉजिस्ट एंड हेपेटोलॉजिस्ट करेंटली वर्किंग इन झारखंड प्रीवियसली वी हैड डिस्कस्ड वन केस विथ हु टूडे आई एल वी डिस्कसिंग वन केस विथ पीन वर सो दिस वॉज ए नाइन ईयर ओल्ड बॉय हु हैड ए कंप्लेन्ट्स ऑफ फ्रेश बीड पीयर फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स आउटसाइड ही हैड वन सिक बॉडोस्कोपी हुई सोड ए पॉलीपिंट्रेक्टम ही केम ईयर फॉर एंडोस्कोपिक पॉलीपेक्टमी सो एज वी एंटर्ड इन टू द रेक्टम विच फाउंड द रेक्टल पॉलिप सिटिंग very near to the anus but along with the tractal polyp we found one worm roaming there so after this we plan to go more inside and here at the sigmoid region we could find many more of those worms roaming in the mucosa at least we can see in the hundreds and then we went more deeper near to the splenic flexor they were more in numbers the luco is quite horrible here and going further deep inside as we reached uh, into the hepatic flexors there are more and more and going towards ascending colon when we reached the ascending colon they were right towards solid stools and even there were many worms roaming here and there so we did not attempt uh, ileoscopy even after reaching the cecum because of solid stool sitting there and it as it is not indicated so in the colonoscopy we could see overall there are hundreds at, if not in thousands of worms in the colon of the child while coming back we retrieved one of the worms with non tooth forceps and put it under the microscope and under the microscope we could see the head end and identify that it's enterovus barbicularis with a common name of pin worm but the most horrible part was that when we prepared the slides the abdomen part of the worm got crushed and from the abdomen of that single worm the, there came out at least lacks if not crores of eggs so now how many eggs are there in the abdomen of the child it's beyond imagination but the good part is that it's a easily treatable condition a single dose of albendazol is sufficient enough and if required we can give a repeat dose after 2 weeks thank you